the cusp of achieving singularity. Recently, Sam Altman, the co-founder of OpenAI, has caused a stir with this cryptic tweet of his. Near the singularity, unclear which side. To the layman, this may mean nothing but to those involved in the world of AI. This is huge because not isn't he in charge of the company that is pushing the ante in the world of AI. The concept of singularity alone and talks about achieving it is enough to cause a stir on any given day. Considered to be a very important concept to achieve in our future, it seems that achieving this singularity will change the world as we know it today forever. That said, one of the main issues with the concept of singularity is that nobody seems to tell us when exactly it's going to happen. For those who may not be familiar with the concept of singularity, it is simply the concept which says that at a certain point in time, we will witness as technological growth eventually becomes so uncontrollable and irreversible that it will eventually cause a shift in the way we live forever. Why this is important to the AI industry is because the achievement of singularity has been heavily linked with the development of superintelligent AI that will eventually supersede the intelligence and capabilities of humans. Just take a look at the diagram on the screen. It shows how, although human intellect develops in contrast to how machine intelligence will develop up until the point that it surpasses human intelligence exponentially. Ray Kurzweil's Predictions as exciting as such the prospect of achieving singularity may be, we must say that the actual achievement of said singularity comes with an uncertain future. With nobody knowing what is coming with the achievement of singularity, some experts have taken a crack on what exactly may happen should this event occur. Just look at Ray Kurzweil, the American inventor, computer scientist and futurist, who is known for his predictions of AI, computing and advanced technologists. Considering how well-respected this individual is, especially it comes to predicting what may happen in such an industry, it may come as no surprise that people definitely took him seriously when he predicted that the singularity will occur by 2045. This makes Sam Adelman's statements on social media quite interesting. Could they actually be on the cusp of achieving this because he has also predicted that we will get AGI by 2029? With every passing year, there is every chance that this is true. It is important that we know if and when this is happening, because when it does happen, this singularity and its AGI will change the very structure of the world as we know it today. Another crazy thing that Ray Kurzweil has predicted is that we are set to have a new and improved set of human beings once singularity is achieved. This is amazing because this means that if the singularity is achieved by 2029 or 2045, we would find that Ray predicts that humans will be better than ever before. According to Ray, he believes that we will all be funnier, sexier, smarter, and free from disease. We will surpass everything that we have been able to dream for, and with such a future coming into play, it comes as no surprise for us to achieve this singularity. What does Sam Altman think about takeoff? Looking back to the stir that he caused with his tweet, Sam Altman looked to clarify things by giving us a follow-up to his tweet. He stated that the tweet was about the simulation hypothesis and the impossibility of knowing exactly when the critical moment in the takeoff will actually take place. Going further on the latter point, we still do not know the point in which machines and AI will eventually surpass the capabilities of human beings. Funny enough, it seems as though Sam Altman spoke about this just a few years ago in 2023. Then he released another tweet in which he said that short timelines and slow takeoff will be a pretty good call. That said, he did believe that the way people will define the start of the takeoff may seem otherwise. What he is trying to describe here is how the takeoff may occur. To Sam, it seems as though the best thing that may happen is if we have a slow takeoff in a short timeline, because if it happens that way, we would not be caught by surprise by the capabilities of these AI systems. Slow takeoff versus fast takeoff. That said, he has also been known to go on record to state that the closer we get to the achievement of AGI, the more difficult it may be to see when we may actually achieve singularity, because it will become a lot blurrier as it occurs. That said, he also believed that this would be much more gradual than we may think. With that in mind, he would rather have the short timeline slow takeoff approach because it may be safer for all of us as a whole. This may be the best way to approach this transition, because that way, we may not be caught unaware by what AGI would be able to do, especially if we stray away from the slow takeoff approach. To make sure that we maintain this pace, Sam hopes that we can get AI safety and governance efforts 
that will keep pace with the abilities of these AGI systems of the future. It may even be better if these safety measures will be able to surpass them. Indeed, we are certain that we are much safer approaching the situation with slow takeoff, because with a fast takeoff, we will get rapid AI advancement in capabilities at an almost discontinuous rate. This will create a situation where we will experience a huge jump in capabilities. This could prove to be problematic for us all, because we may not be able to predict or control those capabilities if and when we need to. As such, if we have the fast approach takeoff in place, we may have a situation where we may not have the needed measures to respond to this super-intelligent AI. With us not being able to control them or handle how destabilizing they could be, we could find ourselves in a future that we may not be able to handle. For example, we may face a future where we may have no use for money. After all, if we are in a situation where AI is doing pretty much all the work in the future, what would the average day look like for the average person? With some jobs transitioning to AI, again it does make sense to approach this situation with slow takeoff because it will give us the time to adjust and transition away from such industries in order to make sure the humans come first and are able to find relevancy in this world of the future. We will need the time to do the research as well, so it is clear that the slow approach is definitely the way to go forward as we inch closer to this future of super-intelligent AI. With any luck, other relevant policies will be put in place as we approach the AI-driven economy of the future. We need to make sure that these systems are in place soon too because before we know it, we may have these AGI systems in place way sooner than we think. Simulation Hypothesis Going back to Sam Altman's follow-up tweet, he refers to the simulation hypothesis. This seems to be a theory that seems to suggest that the entire universe could be a computer simulation that was created by an advanced civilization. This takes us to the concept in which if a civilization becomes advanced enough, it may actually be able to create highly detailed simulated realities. This in turn may allow them to create simulations of their own past. If this is true, then we may actually be living in such a simulation as we speak. Who knows? As such, as we move forward with advanced AI systems, we may not be sure if we're actually experiencing these technological advances as we speak. As such, we can see how Sam Altman's tweet may just be the musings of someone who may be wondering if we are actually in a real universe or if we are just simulating that period. With that in mind, it also points to the fact that we are in an integral juncture in our history. What the future holds we may not know, but we are excited about the future that lies in wait for us. With any luck, we will be fully prepared for the arrival of the super-intelligent AGI.